One of the biggest announcements to come out of E3 2015 is that Final Fantasy VII is finally being remade, causing man babies the world over to get out of their chairs and make noises like lost goats. But no one has actually thought about its true implications and why it's destined to ruin everything. So here's seven reasons why, for the good of mankind, Square Enix should have thrown it in the sea. Number seven! You'll not have anything else to moan about. Cards on the table, right? You're a money bastard. I'm a money bastard. And you love moaning about how Square Enix aren't remaking Final Fantasy VII. Take that away, and what else have you got to moan about apart from the looming collapse of human civilization? But that's by the by. You can't moan about Final Fantasy VII anymore, and there's nothing moanier than a money bastard that can't even moan about anything. Number six. You won't be able to handle Aerith dying again. Like a chump, real men never cry tears, and they definitely don't leak water from their eyes when a digital character pretends to die. And yet this is what countless numpties did when Aerith popped her clogs in Final Fantasy VII. Now I'll tell you what's beautiful. Boxing. The sport of kings. You'll have to go through it all again, and this time she may be called Barbara. Or maybe she won't even die at all, and your gaming adult micro brain won't be able to handle it. Wise up, chumps. The only death in gaming that matters is Dom in Gears of War. A real death for real men. In a real game about a real war with real guns. Number five! It won't be remade how you want. They've only just announced it. But already everyone on that internet's chiming in about what they want for it. Have you seen all the articles already? Here's what we want to see. Here's what we don't want to see. The fucking thing was only revealed two days ago. And listen. However they remake it, it'll not be how you wanted them to remake it, so you're going to get your dungarees and a knot, whatever. Number four, it will be remade how you want, and you're stupid, so it will be rubbish. Then you'll still whine about it not being authentic enough. You've all been complaining for years about it not being 1997 anymore, and you'll never stop. But let's face it, 1997 was crap. Batman and Robin came out in 1997, and do you want a remake of that? Exactly. So shut it. Number three. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Listen, you love Final Fantasy VII, but you only love it because you've not played it since you were a Wayne. You try playing it now, it's a load of mints. Wayne's like mints. You're a grown up now. You can't handle mints. So stop begging for mints. Number two. What if it's actually seven remakes of the first Final Fantasy? Right now, no one knows what this announcement actually is. I mean, what have we actually seen? A trailer full of words and lies. What if Square are actually remaking the first Final Fantasy game seven times and are laughing at you from their ivory tower? Your dreams will be dead. Your hopes shattered in pieces on the floor. Then you'll be forced to revisit the original Final Fantasy VII before realizing that it's garbage. Like Half-Life. Number one! It's a remake! You ever seen a remake? Remakes are push! Did you watch that Italian job one with Mark Wahlberg? And you want Mark Wahlberg in your Final Fantasy VII? Check the neck of Mark Wahlberg. That's what you're wanting. You're a fucking disgrace. You're a bigger disgrace than Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. Not like Planet of the C-